This is 45th and Walnut Street in West Philadelphia, and this is the AICP Masjid, also known as the Association of Islamic Charitable Projects. The Masjid also has a school located inside called TIES, which stands for the Islamic Education School. A high-standing imam in the AICP Muslim community was arrested and charged on multiple sex-related counts regarding inappropriate contact of a minor. The initial incident took place in 2012 when Terence L. Lee, aka Imam Raid, was a teacher of one of his students at Ties. The student recently took her shahada and became a new Muslim and member of the AICP Masjid just over a year previously. The Imam, Sheikh, school teacher, solicited the child via Facebook in order to have sex with the 13-year-old student in a basement classroom of the AICP Masjid. On Facebook, he made many attempts to entice the child to meet with him at various locations to have sex. Twice she agreed to meet with him, and twice she declined. Reports indicate that the reason the child declined to meet with Imam Raid was because she said she was afraid and scared to meet in any other location outside the Masjid. In the month of Ramadan 2012, the child was volunteering at the AICP Masjid's summer camp program. Within that time, Imam Raid took the then 13-year-old minor into an unoccupied classroom across from his office in the basement of the Masjid, where the offence took place. Two years later, in June of 2014, the Imam continued to communicate with the child. The 13-year-old girl eventually revealed the dark and painful secrets to her parents that occurred between her and the Imam two years previous. Once this information was revealed to her parents, they began an immediate investigation of their own in order to obtain concrete proof, evidence, and gather all the facts that they could. Due to the allegations being very serious and cannot be taken lightly, they wanted to be unequivocally sure before contacting the Imam or anyone else regarding this matter. When the young girl opened her private Facebook chats between her and the Imam, it revealed a disturbing reality. There was vulgar language being used, including chats of the Imam expressing how he intends to have his ways with her on their next encounter. At times within the Facebook private chats, the Imam would instruct the child to delete messages so that no one could view them at that time or at a later date. He would say to her, I don't want you to get in trouble. After carefully dissecting the Facebook chats, the parents discovered just how graphic in nature the conversations were. This so-called highly holy figure, Imam, Sheikh, would go into great lengths about what kinds of sexual pleasures he wanted to explore with the girl. The 14-year-old girl at that time tells the Imam that she doesn't want to have sex with him in a masjid again. He replied that he doesn't have another place for them to be alone. The Imam stated that he would be willing to meet with the young girl to have sex at her home while her parents were at work. Imam Raid even went to the extent to send a pornographic image of himself to the child. After that incompetent, irresponsible and disgusting act, the parents were simply horrified and outraged. They notified the authorities immediately. On Wednesday, June the 25th, 2014, the FBI, along with a special victims unit officer, came to visit the child's home to meet with her and her father, Mr. Aladdin. They came to interview both father and daughter and to also take control of all of the 14-year-old girl's email and social media accounts for evidence. When the FBI went through Imam Raid's Facebook account, they reportedly uncovered 47,000 pages of Facebook chats of him having unprofessional, vulgar sex talk with other females as well. Other federal and state charges could very well be inevitable once the story is exposed and other children come forth. In August 2014, the criminal case against Imam Raid was shifted from the FBI to the Philadelphia Police Special Victims Unit. On Thursday, September the 4th, 2014, Terence L. Lee, a.k.a. Imam Raid, was arrested and charged on eight counts of sex crimes. Count 1. Forcible compulsion. Count 2. Unlawful contact with a minor. Count 3. Statutory sexual assault. Count 4. Aggravated assault. Count 5. Sexual assault. Count 6. Corruption of minors. Count 7. 
criminal use of communication facility. Count eight, indecent assault. On Wednesday, September the 17th, 2014, the Imam was bailed out of jail by the president of the AICP Masjid in Philadelphia, Omar Dimachki, as at least 30 or more members of the Masjid attended the bail hearing. On Friday, May the 15th, 2015, the Imam pleaded guilty on some of the charges. Sentencing for the so-called Imam, Sheikh, is scheduled for Tuesday, September the 8th, 2015, at the Criminal Justice Center located at 1301 Filbert Street in Center City, Philadelphia. Court sessions proceedings will be held in courtroom 1102 at 9 a.m. Naturally, this kind of case would be a major concern for any parent with a child attending a place of worship where they think their child would be safe. But Mr. Demachki failed to provide proper protection for the children at the masjid. He also neglected to notify parents of any children attending the school and members of the masjid. One could only wonder what kind of religion would tolerate a high-ranking religious figure having sex in a place of worship or having sex in a place of worship with one of the member's children or an imam sending pornographic pictures of his privates through the internet. I know for a fact that Islam is a religion of peace, love and discipline and the Quran does not teach such ill behavior. So therefore, it's not the religion that's at fault here, it's the narrow-minded hypocrites that follow parts of the Quran and sweep under the rug what they choose. In our next report and upcoming documentary, we'll reveal to you how this man, the president of AICP in Philadelphia, Omar Dimachki, tried desperately to keep all the facts covered up, including vital information regarding this case. So far, Eight members of AICP came forth and reported disturbing allegations about Omar's cover-up attempt. They tell us that Omar Damachki was informing members of the masjid not to go to any court cases in the matter of Imam Raid charges, so ultimately it would keep them in the dark. Also see what happened when the family of the child went to another Muslim community for help. We'll also bring you investigative reports, interviews, greater details, and the scandal. So be sure to catch the next documentary production. Journalist B. OPI Team.